then maybe we can take out this one as well. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Good work, Bertold. And he's like, what? How dare you speak down to me in a condescending tone? Yeah, I actually wasn't I wasn't being condescending, Bertold. I was actually very much sincerely saying good work. And he's just like, Ugh, rolling his eyes. Hello reformers and welcome back to Pendor. Now when we left off we were down here in the Dashar territories down at Naltar and I believe we actually have a pretty decent weekly budget going on here. I mean you can obviously see that the main reason why that is actually a thing is because of the mercenary payments from the Kingdom of Salian and uh, well our, our dye works or whatever it was. I think we actually bought a weavery there, didn't we? Yes, I think we bought a weavery. And uh, yeah, that's that's obviously not re being registered just yet because, of course, it has not been built. But that is in the process. And uh, I have actually leveled up. I have actually leveled up. It's been a while, I think. So what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Well, that's the thing. We already have the plan of taking our Qualys gems and buying two elixirs with that and that's actually something that I've never done before if you can believe it or not I've never ever in any playthrough of Pendor bought one of those elixirs because I've always thought to myself hmm advancing my own stats oh that's not something that I'm very interested in because I'm actually well not very confident in my own abilities to do what it is we need to do in other words kill enemies so yeah that's usually the thing that I will not do but anyway what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna continue to improve our intelligence because right now we have so many different things that we can you know that we can advance and level up with our skill points, that getting those additional skill points is really going to help us in the long run. So I'm actually going to go for another point in horse archery here, and I'm going to go for another point in, I'm thinking trainer skill, but on the other hand, maybe not. Mm, it's a bit difficult. Okay, we'll just go for trainer skill, because in the end, that's actually going to be really, really useful. So it's not really a big deal if I go for that or not. And at the beginning of the episode, no doubt you could see where we're heading. Oh yes, we're going in to take out a band of Singalian hunters. And their strength totals in 160. That is basically double what we have. And many of my companions are actually still a little bit injured here, so I'm a bit worried about that. But, well, we're going to do our very best. And I'm going to try and take as many of these fellows prisoner as possible. And I must also mention that the prisoners that these Singalian hunters have in their prisoner hold total 101. So even if we happen to lose 80% of our army fighting these guys, we should have a really, really good chance of recuperating our losses extremely quickly. So I'm pretty happy with that. And uh, yes, hopefully... Hopefully, we'll be able to take a couple of them prisoner in the process. Frederick got himself eliminated by one of the Singalian Temptresses a little bit too quickly for my liking, but that is to be expected. I mean, you know, the Singalian Temptresses are actually pretty good at what they do, and I'm not surprised that they were able to take someone out. So let's see if I can maybe do a little bit of damage. Oh, nice! We actually eliminated one of their highwaymen with a thrust of my lance? What's actually going on here? I'm kind of surprised. Usually, I'm extremely bad with thrusting with a lance. And I need to couch. I mean, that's generally the best way to go about things. But apparently not for me recently. I'm actually unsure what's going on with that. But yeah, anyway. Uh, things don't seem to be going too well at the moment. And I think I'm actually going to need to tell my forces... Ooh, this is not good. This is not good. We're going to have to tell my forces to kind of get away from here a little bit. Because you can see that many of my cavalry are being absolutely murdered by the Singalian spearmen. And if I can get my forces to kind of consolidate themselves a little bit, which is a bit more difficult to do than you think. Because right now we have forces scattered all over. And it is not good at all to see all of our units running away here and being shot at and all kinds of things so I'm gonna try and run a little bit of interference here and just 
in general, try to get our units in better positions. And we're going to tell them to charge straight on in once again. Because we're now consolidated a little bit better. Our infantry is in a better spot, or at least I hope so. And maybe we'll be able to take a couple more of them prisoner. This might actually not work. We might not be able to do this. We might actually have to retreat here, which is going to make many of our companions not very happy with me. So I am a bit worried about it, to be honest. I would much prefer to... <laughs> oh no, I'd much prefer to just win this. Oh dear. Okay, so we've... Yeah, you can already see that we've eliminated actually quite a few of them, but not enough. Not enough. This might result in a defeat for us, which would not be good, because being defeated by the Singalians, eh, that's not a very good way to go out, is it? Wow, we're losing a whole bunch now. We are literally losing, wow, I think too many. I mean, we have 35 remaining. They have 62. I'm actually unsure whether we will be able to achieve victory here. I don't know. I really don't know what is going to happen. So it is either I'm able to kill one of these guys and get on their horse and then escape from this particular situation, which I very much hope I'll be able to do. Ah, come on, get me over there. There we go. Okay, so I got on their horse. Very nice. And now let's take a look. 20, oh, 28 against 51. This is really not good. This is really not good at all. Maybe I'll be able to eliminate a couple more of them and hopefully help our forces out a little bit and see if we can maybe prevail against all odds. Yeah, come on. Ah, oh, this mace. This mace is not doing as much damage as I would want it to do in this situation. Okay, yeah, there we go. Eliminate that Singalian horseman. Thank you very much. Okay, so maybe we can yeah, take that guy out. Oh, no, we didn't take him out. Okay, that's not good. Singalian Temptress was still alive. That is not good either. Okay, 9 against 26. Yeah, I think you kind of know where this is going. I think you kind of know. I, I don't think we have this in the bag, actually, which is kind of a shame. And, I mean, uh, here's the thing. If these Rangers of the Clarion Corps and the Ravenstern Mounted Rangers can just continue to do their thing, which they're actually doing a pretty good job of, let's just, let's face it, you know, they're doing a pretty good job. So if we can just get them to continue doing that, and maybe me being able to get a couple of kills here and there, me distracting some of the enemy units, and whoa, that was close. We need to be a bit careful about doing those things. Oh, no, uh, yeah, I, I don't have an, enough courage, to be honest, to put my life in the hands of my lance. Don't particularly want to do that, so I'm gonna just try and eliminate a couple of people like this. Four, there are four of us and 11 of them, and I think most of them are actually following me. So if we can get those guys to come over here, those guys that are actually on our side, then maybe this will result in a pretty nice victory. If we can get that actually to, to really happen, I'm gonna be extremely surprised. All right, is that Lethal Durin? Is that actually, no wait, I think that's actually a Ranger of the Clarion Call, never mind. Okay, well there's another Singalian Temptress. Ooh, this is not good. Run, me running into a polearm user, that's really not good. Okay, so maybe I can take out one of these guys, there we go. As long as we can take out the fellows off their mounts, or maybe even just try and get them off their mounts, the fellows that are actually on mounts, then I think that could be working quite nicely. But, wow, we are fighting against all odds here. I am very, very impressed with the Ravenstern Mounted Rangers, and of course the Rangers of the Clarion Call. They are beasts. They are doing fantastic work right now, and I'm very surprised. Come on, ah, yeah, the, my turning circle just isn't good enough. I'm gonna go over here and see if I can help the Ranger of the Clarion Call and see what we can do here. There we go, yeah, take out that horseman. Thank you very much. And maybe we can take out this one as well. Yeah, there we go, nice. Good work, Bertolt. And he's like, what? How dare you speak down to me in a condescending tone? Yeah, I actually wasn't, I wasn't being condescending, Bertolt. I was actually very much sincerely saying good work. And he's just like, Ugh, rolling his eyes. Yeah, of course. But there you go. <laughs> we actually survived. Can you believe it? 
Can you actually believe it? Did you think that we were going to survive at the beginning of this fight? <laughs> Probably not. Probably not. I certainly, well, didn't know. I actually thought that we might have a good chance, but I didn't think we would have such a bad experience. Alright, so we lost all of our Ravenstern mounted rangers, which I have to say is very disappointing, because they did a fantastic job in that. Now, we did, wow, we actually lost a huge amount there. We lost 50, 50 of our units, including a war priest, a bunch of clerics. I don't know whether that was worth it. I guess we're going to find out. We wounded 37 of them, which is pretty good. Lethal Durin killed 5. Edis killed 2. Our companions, our other companions killed nothing. So I'm a bit disappointed by that. But anyway, let's let our companions select what they, whatever they want to select. And then we'll just go in here and take the leftovers to sell. Of course, I haven't sold my various loot just yet. And we're going to be doing that as soon as we can. This is actually some... These are, these are really nice helms. These are actually really nice helms. 50, 50 to head armor is a nice value to have. Not bad. I'm going to continue to just take a whole bunch here. There we go. Alright. So. Let's take all these prisoners. Let's take all of these. These are going to hopefully sell for a pretty decent amount. And do bear in mind that the only reason why I'm taking them singularly, even though there is that sub-mod included in Pendor, that allows you to take all prisoners at once. Uh, the one time that I attempted to obviously take prisoners using that, we kind of had a bit of an issue, and that basically meant I had a crash, and I wasn't very happy about that. So I'm going to be taking these Vekavia units, because in my opinion they're absolutely amazing. So I'm going to take those, and then we're going to take a bunch of Salian units, because we are also using them, of course. And what else do we want to do here? Uh, maiden Cavalry is fantastic. Mercenary Warriors, they might actually be pretty good too. They level up into Mercenary Sergeants, that's pretty good. But everything else we can see here, I mean, I could technically let this Brigand go, because the Brigand is not really going to level up into anything. Leveling up into a Doom Guide, however, that is pretty fantastic. Okay, so that's good. Now, if there's anything else here that I can get rid of... Potentially, doesn't seem like it. Ranger of the Clarion Call did an amazing job. Where's... Wait a minute. Did they, did one of them leave? Did actually one of them leave? Because it seems like I only have one of them now. That's a bit strange. I'm kind of surprised about that. Okay, I'm actually unsure what was going on. Okay, never mind. Okay, so I can't take any more mercenary warriors. Can't take anyone else. Is there anyone here that is just too good to pass up? Doesn't seem like it. So I can just move on. There you go. And as you can see, Kasim, Sara, and Frederick have all advanced in level. And that was a pretty epic battle. And yeah, Kasim is obviously not very happy about us losing so many units. But I think for the most part, we may have converted most of our units that perished into really, really good units. With the exception, of course, of the war priests and some of the clerics and some of the other units that were really, really good to us. But anyway, we're going to sell a whole bunch here. Going to sell these these helms because our companions obviously are not willing to take them. So that's absolutely fine with me. As long as we have enough food as well. Let's take some dried meat and some cheese, grain, fish, bread. There we go. And then we can sell not one various loot because that's going to sell for too much. Let's sell that, and the hunter horse is okay, there we go, and there we go, okay, fantastic. And we can also sell a little bit more here. Hmm, really want to get one of those Noldor horses eventually, I think that's going to be pretty fun. Hmm, and I think that's going to be good, that's enough there, and we can just sell the remaining things. There we go. Nice, we made an absolute killing from that in more ways than one. And on top of this, we are also going to be able to sell a whole bunch of prisoners. So let's go into the tavern here. Ah, yes. Oh, no. Ah, never mind. I actually thought Jaron Longshanks was a ransom broker, but apparently he's not. All right. Well, thanks for that. Oh, there's another Vekavi manhunter. There's Sir Jocelyn. There's Kavera. And there's Brother Randolph. Oh, that's that's amusing, isn't it? Okay, well, Brother Randolph is the fellow that... Ah, uh, he's the one that sells the map. 
Okay. Not interested in the map at the moment. Thank you very much. All right. Well, there's nothing else for me to do here. So I'm going to just look around, I guess, for a ransom broker. And then we'll be able to sell and see exactly how much money we made from that one battle. Because let's face it, I've, I've already bought, you know, I've already bought some, some food and things, right? So we've already invested a little bit of cash from that. And I had about 700 dinars and now I have 10,000. So that from, the, from that one thing, plus obviously the various loot, that obviously does make a pretty big difference. But one, from that one battle, we're doing pretty well. We're doing pretty well for ourselves. I'm, I'm kind of happy about that. And we were able to obviously fully recoup our losses and also gain a pretty decent amount of renown as well. So that's nice. Okay, so let's just take a look. Yes, she is going to be buying our prisoners. 127 per one. There you go. Oh yeah, we're getting even more. And I obviously just got my wages as well. So yeah, that is going to skew things a little bit. But my wages were about 2,600. So if we just minus about 3,000 from our total, then we'll know exactly how much money we were able to gain in that one battle. And I thought it was going to be highly profitable. I just didn't know how by, by how much if we were able to achieve victory. I mean, it was a very, very close one battle anyway. So you can see there, it's about 16,000. We gained about 16,000 in profit just from that, just from that one battle. That's amazing. That really is cool. All right, so that's good. I'm going to assess the local prices, actually. Do I have enough trade skill? Do I have any trade skill? Ah, yes, Leslie has six trade skill. Okay, so buying salt here and selling it at Laria would actually bring a pretty decent profit. I actually thought that that might be the case because I saw salt here. And I was like, hmm... That seems like a pretty decent amount of salt for us to, you know, maybe try. So I'm going to buy some date fruit as well, because apparently that is also highly sought after in Laria. And that's going to cost me 2,200. Let's see if I actually get my money back with that. I mean, it stands to reason that I probably am going to get my money back, but depends. Okay, so I could also go to Ravenstone, but that is only a very small marginal increase in profit, and it is much further away. So on the way to Laria, what we're actually going to do is we're going to make a brief stopover to visit our lady who is in Kelradan Castle. And we've kept her waiting for a pretty well, a long time, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mince words there. We have been keeping her waiting for I think about ten days, which is pretty bad. So if we can try and appease her in some way, then that would be great. But the one thing I'm a bit worried about is selecting the wrong poem to recite to her because I think we're probably going to get another opportunity to do that and if we recite the wrong poem then she's going to go down in relation and it's not going to be good it's not going to be good so we got to dodge a couple of mines got to go into the minefields and uh, see what's going on here all right let's do it okay so the last poem that we told her she actually really liked so maybe we'll be able to dodge the bullet this time around as well Okay, so uh, uh, yes, Lady Sonadel, you do not have to use my title, or you don't have to use Beartilde's title. And Beartilde's like, what? Of course she does. I am an amazing hired blade. And I'm like, no, no, come on now. We're, we're trying to court this woman, Beartilde. And, sh and she's just looking at us just like, uh, really? Wow, these guys, they really don't know what they're doing, do they? I know, exactly. Oh, well, anyway. Do you like poetry, my lady? <laughs> that would depend on the poem. Okay, so I'm going to assume that she doesn't like the skeptical questioning. Uh, okay, let's go with this one. Oh, she liked it. Okay. Oh, yes, it is very worthy and philosophical, but if I am to listen to a bard strum a lute for three hours, I personally prefer there to be a bit of a story. Don't we all? Don't we all, Lady Sonadel? I'm, I'm sure we all prefer a bit of a story. Yes. Okay, so there you go. We've actually done that. That's nice. And let's go on to Laria now. And we do have to be a bit careful here. This is Pendor. I have to be reminded, I have to remind myself consistently that these enemies around here, you know, I'm talking about the heretics and maybe the Noldor as well, they're going to be ro roaming around and we really do not want to run into them 
when I have my eyes off our character. So Beartail's just gonna run in there, you know, just randomly, and he's gonna be like, oh, really, you just, mm, you just completely ignored what I was doing, eh? And I'm just like, yes, I'm so, so sorry. Yes, very sorry. And, uh, yeah, he's gonna just say, well, that's not gonna help me now, is it? I'm now in the prisoner's hold of the Noldor slash heretics being, having my face eaten off. Yeah, he's, he's not gonna be very happy about that, is he? So, let's go into Laria. And we're gonna go into the tavern here, because obviously we do have Quigfen here. I could technically, I think I could unlock the marketplace. Maybe we want to do that? Hmm. I think what we want to do instead is actually help this farmer out. Yeah, there we go. I will help you. Oh, it's Quinn. Oh, very nice. Okay, so let's go into the marketplace and we're going to sell our dates and so on and so forth. I actually ate a couple of the dates. That's not very good, eating the merchandise, bear tilled. And we're going to sell a whole bunch of salt here. And we've already gained more than 2,200, so I think that that was definitely a worthwhile trading trip. There you go. A couple of salt licks for the horses, I guess. And we're gonna... Hmm. I think that's it, actually. Should we, should we try and assess some more local prices, just in case there's something else that we can take from Laria? Oil. Hmm, we might be able to... Oh, wow, there's actually a lot of oil here. Maybe we want to do that. Okay, I'm going to take a bunch of oil. 4,500 worth. That's a lot. I think that might be a bit too much. But we're going to do it nevertheless. And let's actually see here. Do we have anything here? No, we don't. We don't have anything here? Okay, I'm going to have to buy an Enterprise here then. Okay, so what do we want to do? Yeah... And ironworks is not very good. I, I'm going to assume that the weavery and dye works is going to be the thing. I mean, a weavery is actually doing pretty well in itself. But at the moment... Ooh, a tannery is pretty nice. I'm just going to go for the weavery and dye works, actually. Because in the grand scheme of things, usually what is the best to go for is the thing that is the most stable, quote-unquote. Even though I do know that the prices, they, you know, they go up and down. But... I think for now, we're just going to go with that. And is there anything else I want to do here? Well, I do want to level these guys up. These Chrome Guards are the maximum level. I'm a bit worried about this, actually, because these guys, they seem pretty, shall we say, low defensible. Yeah, they have low defenses, shall we say. And I am a bit worried about taking them into any kind of battle where we're going to be facing huge amounts of archers. So, I'm not entirely sure if we're going to be able to do anything there. Hired assassins? Were they wanting to kill me? They were wanting to kill me, weren't they? That is not very nice of them. You know what we're going to do? We're going to say goodbye to these hired assassins. Let's tell everyone to charge in here. I actually have much less cavalry now because of the obvious slaughter that, you know, actually did before us. Wait a minute. Is this oil? Is this oil in the... In the water here? That's kind of weird. Okay, I'm actually unsure what oil is doing here, but I don't know. Never mind. Okay, so I'm going to try and... You know what? I'm actually not going to try and take these guys prisoner because, let's face it, they're probably not going to sell for that much anyway. And, you know, just killing them outright is, is perfectly fine. I really don't mind too much about that. We're already gaining a huge amount from our weekly wages as, you know, being a mercenary. So that's pretty good. Okay. So I'm just going to let people... What? People actually wanted to take things from them? I'm very surprised. I am extremely surprised that they had gear that they wanted to take. I actually thought they were going to have nothing much at all. Okay. Well, never mind. Okay, so I'm going to be making my way to Yavik's home. And we still need to meet that spy in rain. We have 16 days to complete the quest. And do bear in mind that it is given by King Ulrich. So it's going to be one of those things. And Quinn is also going to need to be saved. So in the next episode, we're going to save Quinn. We're going to head to Yavik's home. And we're finally going to be able to do that spy quest. I thank you very much for watching. And I will see you next time.